shadow of Fu Manchu. Based on the stories by Sax Roma. Madame Ingomar has established herself in Kaga from where she is spying on the excavation operations of Sir Lionel Barton. Sir Lionel dies, apparently of heart failure. And Shan Greville, his secretary, hurries to Cairo to seek the aid of Dr. Petrie. Returning to Barton's camp in the Valley of the Kings with Petrie and Superintendent Weymouth, Greville discovers that the supposedly dead body of Sir Lionel has vanished from the locked hut wherein it had been placed. Rima Barton, Sir Lionel's niece, discovers a small plaque bearing a replica of a white peacock, insignia of the dread sea fan. We find them in the hut, examining the plaque. That clinches it, Petrie. If there was any doubt before, there's none now. Agents of Dr. Fu Manchu and the sea fan are behind this business. Only too evident, Weymouth. But, Miss Rima, the photograph of the betel nut chewer, will you get it, please? At once, Dr. Petrie. I won't be alone. Greville, before you brought Barton's body in here from the tent, uh, this door was unlocked? There was no reason to keep it locked. Uh, Forrester and I locked it after we put Sir Lionel's body here. As I thought. Here's the picture. I hope it will help. Uh, three faces. One indistinguishable, foggy. Great Scott. This one nearest the camera. It's the man who followed me to Cairo from Luxor. And the woman between them holding her veil aside. Gad, Drib. Do you see? Yes, yes, I see. It's Madame Ingomar. Miss Rima, uh, how did you get this photograph? I'd set a trap up there on the plateau with the camera hidden at the entrance to the old shaft of the tomb. A floor shaft? Yes. There were prints there which I thought might mean a jackal. The night before I went to Luxor, something fell into my trap. The bait didn't seem to have been touched. It looked as though someone might have stumbled over it. Uh, you developed the film yourself? Yes. I took it to Luxor, but I didn't develop it until today. When I saw what it was, I couldn't believe my eyes. To have touched off the trigger of your camera and still get in focus, they must have been actually coming from that shaft. Yes. I can't imagine why they left the camera undisturbed. Unless they couldn't find it or the flash frightened them. Uh, this one nearest the camera, the one who tracked you, Greville, is a dacoit. See the mark on his forehead? Yes. What is Lafleur's shaft? Uh, how is it connected with Lafleur's tomb or the tomb of the black ape? It isn't connected. Lafleur's tomb was discovered by the French Egyptologist Lafleur several years ago. He unearthed a small votive chapel. All the fragments of offering found bore the figure of a black ape. As certain authorities hold the theory that some strange pet of an unknown pharaoh had been given a freak burial. However, that's how it became known as the tomb of the black ape. You see, Mr. Weymouth, Lafleur cut a shaft into a passage leading into another burial chamber, which he thought would lead him to the tomb of the black ape. Where did it lead? It led nowhere. Lafleur abandoned it. Sir Lionel started from a different point and seems to have hit on the right entrance. I see. Then my next step is pretty clear. You intend having a look at the tomb? Right. Greville, I want you to go over the excavation work with me. Righto. 
We start now? At once, if you don't mind. Uh, Petrie, uh, you and Forrester stay here with Miss Rima. We'll need Ollie to carry the lantern. Make the necessary arrangements. Miss Rima, I'm going to ask that you remain within sight or at least call of Dr. Petrie or Mr. Forrester. Will you do that? Of course, if you wish it. Thanks. Watch her, Petrie. That photograph is damning evidence. Someone may decide to come after it. Don't worry, old man. Arm Forrester and put him on guard. Right. All right, Weymouth. All ready. Be careful, Shan. Of course, dear. Everything will be all right. Your armed Greville? Yes, an automatic pistol. Come along, then. How much deeper is this shaft? One more ladder down. I suppose one could get accustomed to this uh, and the smell. All the tombs of Upper Egypt had the same odor. It's a characteristic. Here we are. <sighs> That's better. I hate to think of the climb back up. I'm not quite as young as I was. Which way? Oh, this way. That's the way to the original entrance up that slope. It's blocked off some yards along beyond the bend. Where it originally came out, heaven knows. However, this is our way. Upon a wally. There's a pit just ahead, past to the left. It doesn't lead anywhere, but it's uh, deep enough to give one a bad fall. Quite a steep downgrade. Yes, it'll level out soon. We were starting in on a uh, stone portcullis, a barricade, uh, which Sir Lionel believed opened into the actual burial chamber. <laughs> he had a system all his own in dealing with those barriers. In a few hours' work could have seen us through. Well, here we are. Is uh, this your portcullis? Yes, uh, Sir Lionel had almost... Chef sh- Greville, Fendi. Look. By Joe. What is it? That opening in the bottom left-hand corner. Large enough to admit a man. What of it? There's another in the right top corner. Does it mean anything? It means that someone has finished the job. And finished it as Sir Lionel had planned. Then we are going in. Give me that lantern, Ali. I'll go first. Nay, hey, Fendi. Ali goes first. It may never be said that Ali Mahmoud is afraid. Lead on, then. Really send him. It is the tomb of the black ape. Look at the walls. Yes. The fresco women. Black ape. And there, Fendi. A sarcophagus open. A wooden mummy case inside, eh? Correct. That opening in the far wall must be an anteroom, eh? Uh, probably. Either that mummy case was the least valuable object, or everything else had been taken out. Or the thieves were interrupted in their work. A gloomy spot, Gravel. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything. Listen. Someone's coming down the tunnel, following us. Quick, Ali, into the anteroom. Follow him, Gravel. Cover the light. No, not a sound. Gravel, Effendi. Be quiet. I... Whatever comes into the tomb, don't move. Effendi, there is someone who... Will you be quiet? He's out in the tunnel. I can see the reflection of his light through the opening in the portcullis. Who the deuce would be coming down here at this hour? He's coming in now. By Jove, a woman. An Arab woman. With a flashlight. Silence. She missed flashing the light in here. She's going out again. Now, what was she after? I think she looked into the sarcophagus. Jove, I'd give almost anything to know what she's down here for. She's gone. Uncover the light, Ali. Look. Effendi. Under my hand. We must. Gad. I tried to tell the Effendi when we came in. A brown man naked, but for a loincloth and turban. And cold. <laughs> Been dead for some time. A Burman travel. See here, the cast mark. Recognize it? The same as on the man in the photograph. I'll wager a shilling that woman came down here looking for this fellow. Yes, the man's a dacoit. Come on, we'll see where the woman went to. Into the tunnel, hurry. <laughs> Talk to the pit. Right. We should catch her on the ladders. Stay back with the light, Ali. Hey, Joe, she's not up there. She'd still be in sight. Where the devil? Listen, I think she's gone up the slope toward the old entrance. We've got a way, move. She can't get out that way. Come on. She's the clue to the mystery. She's the one who's stolen Sir Lionel's body. Ah, I recognized her, did you? Without the hint provided in Rima's picture. 
I'd have known her in spite of her disguise. Madame Ingomar. I thought so. Here's the bend. Careful. It's a solid wall of rock. Well, by Joe. Your wall of rock appears to have been tampered with. That opening is large enough to drive a lorry through. Come on, let's see what's beyond. Effendi, look up. There is no need to go farther. He's right, Weymouth. She's gone. I know now how she got out so quickly. Yes. We're in La Fleur's shaft. They've opened it. So that's how they got in and out, eh? I wonder how they knew. Well, Madame Ingomar is above ground and gone by this time. Right. I want to have a good look at that sarcophagus back there. Come on. Madame Ingomar, eh? Quite a woman, Greville. Hey, young man, we're dealing with a she-devil. What the deuce does it all mean? It's beyond me. It means that our worst suspicions have been proven correct. She's an agent of whoever's taken over Fu Manchu's job or of the sea fan. Here we are. Hmm. If I ever saw one, this fellow on the floor is a servant of Fu Manchu. Greville, if Barton was in a cataleptic state, as Petrie and I believe, then this fellow returned to kill him. But who strangled this Berman? Aye, who? He certainly didn't die at the hands of his friends. Have you any idea of what they were after down here? No more than you, Weymouth. However, the first thing any excavator would do would be to open that mummy case. It might hold a clue to what was in the tomb. And that appears to have been done. By Jove, you're right. I had noticed. The wooden pegs holding the lid have been removed. The lid must have been raised and lowered again. Those two wedges kept it from closing entirely. There's a gap of an inch or more all around the lid. What's the meaning of that? I don't know. I must have make it easier to lift again. Uh, good idea, and we'll take advantage of it. Hold the light high, Ellie. Take hold here with me, Gravel. Don't move to any other part of the lid. There may be fingerprints. All right. Now. Careful, careful. It's heavy. Hold it. I'll have to take the other end. Right. Be careful. Right, now, lift. I didn't know those things were so heavy. No, slide it off onto the floor. Some of them are almost impossible to... Great Scott, Weymouth. Look. Allah. Inshallah. By the gods. It's a lion Barton. Shadow of Fu Manchu.